Hello, Avengers. It's me, Svenny McGee. Now, today we're going to be looking at some scratch discs and how we can play them with backwards compatibility on the Xbox One and Xbox Series X. Let's jump in and take a look. All right, my friends. Now, first things first, this is not a video on how to fix a scratch disc. This is not going to be some tutorial with a magic fix, but what I want to show you is still no less important and what I think is pretty relevant to today's market. So this is the Xbox 360 copy of Call of Duty Black Ops. And you can see here, the disc looks otherwise pretty good. There's one major issue though, around the whole rim, there's this burn line, follow it all the way around here. You see that? I don't know what caused that, under what circumstance, but it goes all the way around the disc and it's about a quarter of an inch in. That has enough issue to be able to block some functions of this disc. So let's check it out. Now this here is an Xbox 360 E console. It's the one that kind of looks like an Xbox One. All right, so here's that 360 screen on screen and down below here, again, is my Xbox 360. So I'm gonna take that, again, disc with that burn all the way around the edge there and I'm gonna go ahead and insert it. All right, so there's the title screen. I've got my Hard Rock Candy controller here. And once I get going in here, you'll see once I go into campaign or anything, I don't know if you can hear the disc reading there, kind of making some noise, but you know what? This otherwise tends to run okay, especially the campaign. I don't have any notable issues here. And sometimes that's the case with the scratch disc, right? Like I said, the game's working, I'm driving my boat, shooting that stuff, having a great old time. Now for me, the primary issue was the game was not working on the zombies mode. My friends and I, when they come over, we like to set up and have like a LAN system going on down here using System Link. But if I go down here, even showing you just in solo, if I go ahead and start up one of these maps, the game gets going. And then as it's loading, all of a sudden I get this. Disc is unreadable. Clean the disc with a soft cloth, restart the console, etc. And you saw that scratch. I've wiped the disc down 100,000 times, maybe a little bit less, but regardless, it has not been able to work. I cannot get this function to work. And then I get kicked right out of it, right back to the main menu. Okay, my friends, now again, same disc here. You can see that line going all the way around the outside there. We're gonna go ahead and put this right in the Xbox Series X. Going up top. Okay, that disc is starting up without issue. So again, we're gonna go down to zombies because this is where the issue was, not with the campaign on that disc. It was the two zombie maps. Even Dead Ops Arcade I found worked, but Five and Kino de Totten did not work. So I'm gonna show Kino again here on this one because on the Xbox 360 it kicked out. And here, we're gonna start up without issue. And just like that, we are off and playing. The map has started and we're ready to go. All right, my friends, and one last time for confirmation here. Again, here's that same scratchy disc. We're gonna put it directly into this Xbox One. Got my white controller ready. The game is starting to boot. I'm gonna tilt this up a little bit for you. We are again here running on a different television here, but using the Xbox One. If you don't believe me, you can see my Kinect glowing there. <laughs> and again, one last time, zombies, solo, Kino. Okay, I'm going to skip here. I might do a quick jump cut because, again, I don't want to show certain imagery from this. And again, without issue, without saying the disc is scratched or anything else, the game is working because, again, the disc in the Xbox One only acts as the key to start it to access the license. The game has been downloaded. Once I put that disc in first time, it downloaded the game from the Microsoft Store onto the Xbox One, onto the Series X, and that game is gonna run flawlessly because it's a downloaded game. The scratch disc, as long as it can recognize that it's the license for the game, you're gonna play the game without issue. So there you have it, friends. Again, this disc on the surface doesn't look terrible, but like I said, that ring there is enough to just kill certain aspects of the game. However, with backwards compatibility, we're able to access all aspects of this disc. That is a huge perk for backwards compatibility. Go ahead, check out some of your discs. Let me know what you found. Were you able to restore some gameplay from some old discs simply by using backwards compatibility? Let me know in the comments below. And please, if you found this video helpful today, please consider liking and subscribing. It always helps grow my channel. Until I see you guys all again soon, I hope you all take care and be good to each other. Bye now.